I'm the meat. I've escaped the meat. I'm dead. Can't survive that fall. Nope. I guess we'll just keep playing and if we end up beating the game, then we'll know. <gasps> Gnome friend! Then we'll know if we uh, are playing all the chapters. But that seemed like that was a good end point if the DLC was going to be split into three parts. There's nothing for me to like see this besides leaving the menu, so... Is this like a dead gnome? It's like, it's that thing from the weird toy room that the janitor had that I said looked like it had a gnome body. Is that snakeskin? Or is that just weird cloth? It just looked weird. It looks like snakeskin to me. Can't climb that, all right. I guess we'll also know if there's more floatsome. That'll be a easier way to tell than waiting till everything's beaten. I know these chapters all have their own names as well. I mean, I guess the chapters in the base game had a name, but you know, each part. I think this was probably called the depth. I remember seeing the depth as one. And considering we fell into the coal mines, it seems like that might be the case. Gnome. No, gnome, be my friend. Look at them all scurrying about. Imagine thinking that the gnomes are like bad guys before you played the first game. And having this moment. This would be actually kind of freaky. That looked like it could have been climbable. Gnome. No. That was climbable, but it was really unclear if I could do anything there. I don't like how dark this room is. I feel like I'm going to miss collectibles because of it. Also, I don't like it because all these gnomes are being scary. I'm going to find you, gnome. I'm going to hug you. Gnome, look, you have a little... Oh, I thought that was like a dog bowl. Just a pot turned and flipped up. Why do these gnomes have shoes? Whose newspaper is this? What are you doing, friend? Oh no, he's stuck. I saved you, buddy. Let me give you a hug. Oh, we're buddies now. You. Ooh. This is some cool music. I, I know how to throw. Are you actually gonna be like, wait, are you actually gonna be my friend here? Cute. Yeah, buddy. I love it. I want to see if I can climb that, but it does not seem to be helping me at all. If I go over here, can I get the other ones to be buddies too? Like they know I have a friend now? No, he's not coming with me. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I liked the gnome music that was playing. The scary doll up there again. I don't like these scary dolls. They frighten me. 
Is that the janitor? It looks kind of like a... What is, is that picture, actually? I need you to go away, door. You're in my way. I don't know what this other stuff is. It's weird looking. That looks like that's the gnome... The janitor. The gnome janitor. Alright, buddy. I'm going to need you to get yeeted up there. going to solve all kinds of puzzles with my new buddy. Hope this isn't like a companion cube situation. Oh, buddy! Oh, close one. Gnomes and kids being seen by the eye? There's a story here. What it is, I don't know. Is there something for you to do over here? Doesn't look like it, buddy. What is up there? There's like some weird shadow. Is that another weird statue? Can I just climb? Is it really that simple? I mean, I can climb. A little bit. Break my legs a little bit too. What are what are we doing here, gnome? Maybe I was pre uh, pushing the box the wrong way. Oh wait, I think Gnome was helping me. Maybe I do need to actually push it from over here though. Sorry, don't want to pick you up this time, Gnome. Yeah, Gnome! I mean, I could do that. I'm already feeling like I'm missing out on... Float some bottles, though. Something about up here in the shelves make me think. Alright, well, I can't get up from there, so. Also, I think all that's up there is a spider web. But over here, I can't do anything. Alright, no, let's go in the hole. It's a little awkward trying to point the light sometimes. Same thing, eyeball and little people. Can't really tell what's going on with those pictures. They look kind of like default ones. There's a bottle up there. Gnome, can I throw you up there? Yup. No. Uh, I see the hole to get to that bottle. So yeah, we're in the second chapter here. Um, looks like we have to move the box down. Will you rescue other gnome for me? And you two cooperate? Can I, like, kind of pull the box from where I am? Oh! <gasps> There's a little shaky guy over here. A little shaky gnome. Let's see if I can pull these other drawers. Gnome. I love all my friends. I would never eat any of you guys. Only a monster would eat a gnome. Puzzle solving. Maybe would have wanted you guys to stay up here. Alright, can I get you out? Buddy, buddy, buddy. You're my friend. Yeet. 
not the nicest thing to throw him like that, but he's still my friend. Alright, so there's janitor picture, six eyeballs, the scary TV, floatsome. Too dark. To, it looks like a no. Like, is it just a note in a bottle? More eyeballs. I do still think that's janitor just because the arms are large. All a bit strange, like pictures. Friends. Are they gonna follow me? What happened? Get you guys out of this weird corner. No, now you're in here with me. No. One of them is like stuck or just being weird. Stop being a weird gnome. This one's the weird one. Oh, uh, that's just a box. All right, so what do I need you guys for? Can I... Oh, we all need to be able to push this because it's large. Yeah, you guys maybe want to help? It's just pointing. Good job, guys. I go under the stairs. Can I push the door the other way? I don't think I can. I don't think I can go under the stairs. Looks pretty blocked off. I'm gonna try one other thing. I'm gonna say I can't because of how that worked. For some reason I thought this was maybe like a coffee bean room. So I'm assuming I just need to find something that'll drop down here. Like loads of more coal. Guess we have to like get the furnace going. Friend! Are these just the three friends I had before? How did that guy get close to the furnace before I did? Very scary. Maybe I need more friends to get more coal to like maybe activate it a bit quicker or something. Scary noises. Oh, that door's open. I thought I died for a minute. Uh... It moved, but not quite enough. Unless if I was supposed to get on it a bit quicker, I don't think I could have climbed up that yet. Well, now I'm using my friends for manual labor, which isn't quite as uh, friendly as I wanted it to be. Buddy. Ever thought about working the coal mines? Go get them, buddy. Uh, let me go this way first. I probably need to grab way more friends. I'm assuming that progress is completing this thing that I'm doing here. Is the janitor going to be in here? I 
I don't like the sound of that crust. He is. What am I even doing over here, actually? As soon as I heard the crunching on the ground, I'm like, nah. Nah, this is going to be some nonsense right now. I got too close, and I also probably should have crouch walked, but I panicked. I thought maybe as long as I wasn't crunching the coal, I would have been fine. So this is before the arm crushing. Let me actually see what's going on in this room before I play with the janitor. Okay, so we need to get more power cells. That one looks fine. That one looks crusty, right? Yeah, that's the problem. Alright, so we need to get the one that's not crusty. What happens if I go in here? Nothing. Nothing happens. Alright, so... Time to be spooky. You know what's gonna really suck is going through this without the light when I have to hold something. Yeah, me being quiet on the microphone is definitely helping me being quiet in game. It's very easy to like feel the stress on this. It's also incredibly hard to know what you're supposed to be doing. <sighs> I like how they have a new way to make this character even scarier than he was before by just having him in a very dark room. It's blind versus blind. I think I went the wrong way here. Mm. That's cool. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't climb up here. Those are uh, stairs, aren't they? I thought they were great. Oh, he's climbing. Scary arms. I can't hear me when I'm up here. Haha. <laughs> See you later, sucker. That was uh, way more stressful than I anticipated. Oh, I can open these like this, huh? Don't like the spooky noise of opening these either. It's very scary. Looks like there's some stuff I could be doing in here. Yeah, I don't want to pick that up. Oh, it I can probably pull this, right? I'm like, what if there's, you know, the fuse boxes on top of the chair like an altar in the closet that's stupid 
Also, with how things are going right now, I am definitely missing loads of floatsums. I mean, clearly I have to go into that hole, right? Is that a float summer or is that just a bottle? Ah, that looks like a float sum. But I'm unsure. Almost looks like I might be able to return back after the fact. I don't see any way I would be able to climb. So I'm gonna just continue on. Got a little spook there. Going a long way here. Hopefully my gnome friends are doing fine with the uh the big box. Hmm. I wonder which one's working. Didn't like that those fell. They made me scared. It looks like there is something hidden behind the box up on top of this. Like you can see that the wall is a little weird. Uh, maybe it's... It, that looks like that's the wall. Can't push it. Like, that really makes me think there's something behind that, and I'm upset. It might just be another box. It looked suspicious, okay? I found it very suspicious. I also think that once we open this, someone's going to be a little mad. Oh, I guess someone can't get in, though. Oh, this is our light now. That's actually pretty cool. Forgot that I need to crawl. I think I'm too close to his hand. All right, that actually worked out. Just stay away from the coal. I'd say if there's any floats I'm missing, it's... Probably in here somewhere. I'm not doing anything. I just want to look on top of the shelf because I thought maybe there would be something for me. And now I'm in a bit of a conundrum because I'm right next to your armpit. We're good. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely missing stuff in the shadow realm here. Hopefully this is the last time we see him. We're obviously not going to kill him. So like I said, unless if we run into him again with robot arms. Don't have to worry about him in the scary room. Yeah, just crunch that floor a little bit. See, we're good. Easy. Wasn't scared at all. Alright, why did I do this? Oh, so I can 
get up here. <gasps> Friends! With some weird toilet babies in the... Okay. This is a weird room. How come every time there's a chapter with the janitor, I'm not finding any of the floatsome? <gasps> Look at the monkey up there. He's watching us. It's all a bunch of toy junk. This room seems far too big. I want to see if the paper did any uh, crunch noises. I think I saw floats some up here. Or is, is that another weird baby doll? So it looks like it's just outright the gnomes that are that were like writing and drawing stuff on the walls. Yeah, it's just a weird baby doll. That's a unique looking one though. I don't think that was in the toy room before. Also serves no purpose besides the scary baby doll. What is with the markings on this. Oh, I need to move this over, clearly, to be able to open the, the door there. But I'm not going there yet. I need to get that friend. Interesting. Seems like I should be able to just do this instead of Using the trolley. I see what what's actually the puzzle here. I get it. The swaying of the maw isn't quite enough to get the trolley to move back and forth to get me over here. But once I push it there, it should be enough to work when I climb the filing cabinet. I get your game. I'm on to your game tricks. Let me climb up though. Why is this being a weird spot? I didn't have this much trouble before. See, easy. Well, I mean, I, it definitely works. It's just that the game was giving me some guff. Alright, maybe a little too close there. Friend! Let's go! We ride! Come on, buddy. I was scared of that room, though, because I definitely thought it was going to be a scary thing. Alright, buddy. Buddy, gonna have to figure this out. Was I not supposed to move this as close? Because I guess I need to get the angle to throw him properly, right? Can you get like on top of this? Not like that. God damn it. Friend. Okay, that works. Uh, seems like there are more buddies that I need, or be- Oh! Friend, I'm sorry, maybe both of us will have enough weight that we can lift it completely. I was under the impression I might need to move the box and use it as a, uh, doorstop. Climb- Buddy! You're supposed to stay up there. Supposed to let me throw you too. Climb, buddy. Uh, is this not how you're supposed to do it? Because it's not. 
really working out. Can we get more friends here? No, that's not what I want to do. This will be my friend. No, I must just have to do something. More like actually puzzle-like. Like, for instance, find another friend here. There was another friend. Ooh, many other friends! Oh, 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 you ain't gonna see it coming. Oh, you didn't see it coming. He thought he was smart. I kind of assume the idea is that you hug them and they know that you're friendly. But I kind of like the idea of like, damn, I got hugged. I guess I have no choice but to follow them. So I should be able to throw each of these guys up. I probably do have to use this as a doorstop now. But since I have enough friends, I can get enough weight. Oh, uh, one of my friends is a little stuck. Don't worry, friend, I gotcha. Push it. No, I need to push it before my friends get tuckered. Thanks, friends. Real helpful. <laughs>